In this video, I wanted to talk about what happens in a presynaptic membrane right after a depolarization takes place. Now, you should be aware that we're talking at a cellular level. So, we're talking about a synapse taking place between a presynaptic and a postsynaptic membrane. But what we're going to focus on is what happens in a presynaptic membrane right before it releases its neurotransmitters. So first things first, right after a depolarization, your calcium channels open and calcium ions are released. And if you don't know this, then you should probably get some background information on action potentials, because I won't necessarily go over that in this video. So once your calcium ions are here floating around the vesicle, which contains your neurotransmitters, they're going to have an effect on actin, just like in muscle contraction. So what actin is going to do is essentially it will pull, pull this vesicle toward this presynaptic membrane and it will line up the FPMs, which are fusion protein macromolecules. And those FPMs are basically responsible for fusing this vesicle into the presynaptic membrane, which we're going to see in a little bit. So what happens is those FPMs, they open up the vesicle, just like here, and this vesicle is now able to release its neurotransmitters into the synaptic cleft. Once this happens, you see here that the vesicle has completely disappeared with the help of the FPMs, and it, it, it's become part of the presynaptic membrane, as you see. And now your neurotransmitters are binding to the receptors or floating around in the synaptic cleft, doing whatever they do, at this point, your vesicle is completely part of the presynaptic membrane. So after your neurotransmitters do their job, after they bind to the receptors and send the signals, your vesicle will be pulled back to where it belongs with the help of two proteins. You have the clathrin protein, which helps the, the inward movement of the membrane. And then you have dynamin, which bring back the FPMs where they belong. So now, with the help of all these proteins, this process is back to normal. Your vesicle is recycled and it's ready to do a new job.